The Prime Minister has today described the spate of cycling deaths on London's roads as extremely depressing. His comments come after cycle campaigners staged a protest, bringing the heart of the city of London to a standstill. They're calling for more to be done following the death of Ying Tao, the 26-year-old cyclist who was killed after being hit by a tipper truck in Bank on Monday. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards reports. For 10 minutes, one of the busiest junctions in the city was brought to a standstill. Ying Tao, who was 26, died here on Monday. Do you think safety needs to be improved? Absolutely, and if we can't find a compromise, at least to limit the hours that the lorries drive on the roads here. This is a notorious, confusing junction. Improvements were drawn up two years ago, but changes aren't planned until 2020. We don't expect it necessarily to be 100%, but I think there's a lot of improvements that can be made on the roads for all cyclists. It's super dangerous to drive on the roads. <laughs> like right now, I'm already getting worried about where we're going to get knocked down from. The money is on the table, so we have no idea why between them, the City of London, TfL, the Mayor's Office, cannot uh, get their act together to make sure those safe designs are put on the ground uh, as soon as possible. We understand it could be as late as 2020 before anything happens. So That's just scandalous. The capital is seeing big changes to the public realm with more emphasis on pedestrians and cyclists. But some schemes are taking a long time. The City of London Corporation says it is consulting on the changes at Bank. TfL wanted to basically make this roundabout more safer for pedestrians and cyclists. Campaigners think the problem is TfL and the boroughs are often at odds. Plans for changes to this roundabout where another cyclist died have also been delayed. In correspondence with TfL, Westminster Council questioned whether the scheme justifies a significant choice about the allocation of public money and said it will not work and it could be a disaster. This, I think, is slowing down the pace of change in London because, as we know, TfL is consistently underspending its its budget for safety and cycling improvements and all, all around it's meeting resistance from boroughs who feel that they're being uh, told what to do when they should have autonomy and it needs to be resolved. Westminster says it wants a better junction design that benefits all road users. It blames TfL and says it's waiting for an update on new proposals. And today, cycling safety in London was also raised at Prime Minister's questions. Money is being invested, cycle lanes are being uh, introduced. The, the number of fatalities is still very high and extremely depressing. Young lives being snuffed out uh, in this way. So I'm very happy to have that meeting uh, and uh, perhaps also keep in contact with the Mayor about this important issue. The focus again seems to be moving back onto cycling safety in London. While campaigners say red tape needs to be cut, as it's stopping schemes that could be saving lives. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.